this Fireworks CS4 tutorial, we'll be taking a deep look at the sub selection tool so everyone understands how it works and what it can be used for. So, the first thing we'll do is drag out a stock shape, a star, and you just hold down on that button to see what all shapes you can grab. And I'm also going to use the pen tool to make a custom wavy line. and we'll import JPEG image okay make that a little smaller alright so now when you click the item on stage and then you hit the sub selection tool and then you click it again you'll see you have kind of a different view of the item. You can see its anchor points and you can select each anchor point any ones you want. See? See how they highlight blue? If I wanted to select two I just hold down shift or three or four or five. So now I can move these with my my keyboard arrow keys or I can just drag them. You see there? If I wanted to deselect one of them, I hold shift again and hit that one. And now just those four. You see what's going on there? Okay. Now on a shape like this that you use the pen tool where it has custom arcs, if you happen to select one of the anchor points that has the ability to customize the arc, you can then grab the bars and customize the arc that you made earlier with your pen tool. So that's how that works. And so say you had a JPEG and you wanted to make the corner, you wanted to warp it out. You can't use the sub selection tool for that. Because it just doesn't give you the anchor points. It doesn't recognize them. But what you can do is go to the distort tool and then drag those points to wherever you need them, see? Bring it in like that. Bring this one down like that and there you go so I just wanted to throw that example in there because maybe sometimes you want to distort an image or the anchor points on an image but you can't seem to okie dokie we'll see you next lesson